Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. I'm here with the Eddie Horner. Marky. And ZZ. Hey. Hi, ZZ. Eddie, ZZ, Mark. Mark. And, uh, hey, a special shout out to David Gordy. Um, he wrote a song. He wrote a song, and uh, I don't know if it'll be in this video, but we got to do a, it's called ZZ Chop. <laughs> so, so uh, I, I really appreciate it. You know, it's humbling that there, there's people out there that uh, do so much for us. Thanks, David. And, uh, you know, he, he spent a lot of time and effort. And I'll, I'll try to get that sent to you. And uh, you give me the approval on it. Because this is your song. <laughs> for sure. The lyrics and all. Uh, okay, getting to uh, the, the master dog. Uh, there you go. Here we go. Uh, this is uh, from Harold Wagner. And he had sent, uh, I'll get a close up here. And these are a locking washer he had sent us. And you know, you didn't have to order these for us. I appreciate it. Uh, he, he actually had these sent from Zorro. Yeah. And, uh, and Bob Adams. Now here's what I was looking for originally. And these are the nylocks. It has the nylon insert in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try both of them and see, give it a couple months. Let's, and, let's put it all on there. Yeah, let's uh, <laughs> two or three of these yeah, and one or two of these uh, on there. Heck, it'd never come off. Thank you, Bob, I really appreciate it. And they both say hello to Eddie and ZZ. Oh. So uh, everybody you, always reaches out and says hi. You, you guys are terrific. Uh, I really appreciate the, the subscribers, uh, the support of this channel. Paul Bunyan Show. Oh, yeah. We're, we're three weeks out now, aren't we? Wow. It's moving close. It's getting closer. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we will be in the same booth with Frickin' Jeep. John. And uh, go up to his channel. Check him out. He's been doing that, uh, the Carroll County uh, Steam the, Show. Is it the Mason-Dixon Line Show or something like yeah. that? Yeah. And, and uh, they're running that old Frick Sawmill. Uh, and I don't know. He has how many videos on now already about that? It's, mm -hmm. There's a lot of videos. So yes. If you like the old steam engines, go check that out. Uh, shout out to Buck and Billy Ray Smith. Uh, <laughs> there is, I tell you what, go up and check his channel out. I think a lot of people might already watch him. Um, he had did a video here not too long ago. I guess his mother is writing rock and roll music yet, and he was drumming to this song, and it was it was very neat to watch. Uh, Buckin is just a super, just a super nice guy. Uh, into axes, chainsaws, the old McCullough's. He loves the old McCullough saws. And uh, check him out. Uh, we got one more new shirt in the works. And a shout out to Johan uh, Boss. He is going to help us. And I'm not going to give any information no. on what it might be. We appreciate but it. We're all, we, it. It'll have all three of us in it. So, uh, mm. so I yeah. What it could be. So. Interesting. And today, I'm not going to ask Eddie what we're doing because we're going to finally get to that uh, load of logs I got for $250. And we're going to start breaking that down today. Uh, we're in between orders, and I want to get that cut into boards and let it start air drying let's down. Let's get it on sticks. So let's get moving. Oh, I've got one more thing. I've got to say hi to my granddaughter, my special girl. Hi, Pookie. Hey. Pop said he was <laughs> hey, we was going to make Gabriel. a movie, and he would he would tell you hi. All right. All awesome. Right. Awesome. All right. Let's, let's, get, let's, get, let's get going.
start sawing this cherry up. Uh, actually, you're coming in a little bit later. We were trying to get a couple of things tuned up on the set works and we had to start doing some sawings. And, and again, these aren't the prettiest logs, but these logs were heading right for the firewood pile. So, we're gonna make something out of them. And here we go, perfect example of banana. And uh, I'll show you at the end of the video what I had done with, okay, now when we're doing these, uh, the way I do my crook logs is I saw that side off first. And you'll see, you'll see what will happen here. Mr. Master Dog down. Alright, let's open this log up and see what we have inside. It's going to be a little bit of a fatty here, but... I'm trying to get six foot boards. In the crook logs, you do get more waste on them. Cut most of the stuff into what I call four quarters inch and a eighth. That way I can build cabinets out of it. I did saw some nice curved logs out of this one. It was uh, it was actually beautiful. I'm gonna try to make a coffee table and keep the natural curve. I'm not a big live edge fan, but that log particularly interested me. And again, thank everybody for supporting this channel, subscribing, and watching us. And I figured it was about time to get this stuff broke down into boards. So now we're going for the other face. Up. 
and old Chewy just does a great job. Alright, let's go with that. Beautiful grain in that. That is some nice, like quilted. like butter. Alright, let's work that other face down. Starting to get into some bad defects. We're getting in the center of the log there, which everybody knows is the pith. Cutting a pith out of it. Make sure the doggies are in. And you notice I just nudge it forward a little bit before I dog it down. Just to make sure it's touching the knees. get some nice firewood out of this too. This is all going to go home with me. Maybe we'll bring some of this cherry sawdust to the, to the bunion show. That's some nice white pine. We're going to have man glitter bags for you. Tell you what. I still got two more faces. Let's work them other two faces down a little bit. We got still got over five inches. We're not quite FAS, but still under the select. And we bump it forward. The other forward. Dogs in. And we'll get her back to the saw blade here. I do that is these logs with curb in them or crook or whatever you want to call them tend to bow when you're sawing them. Alright, let's work that other face and take it down to two inches or whatever we end up with. Then we maximized every little thing we could get out of this. So 
a little bit. I don't think I'm going to get the saw all the way through that, so here's what I'm going to try. We're going to try this anyway. Try to maximize that curve. I'm going to try to... You're going to see it happen here either way, either way, good or bad. Alright, we got a good hold on it. I don't know if the saw is going to clear that back end or not. I'm going to try to get a couple more curved pieces out.
kind of not worth it there, but it might be what someone's looking for.
All right, there it is. That is the short cherry logs. And here is the one I was talking about in the cab. I'm going to make a coffee table for my rec room, my bar. And I have a corner couch. And I want to do that nice curved, leave the live edge on it, and get some nice, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for legs yet. I'll figure that out later on. But, boy, is that going to be, it's all two inch. That would be beautiful. beautiful. And uh, that's this is maple up here. So before someone says, hey, that's maple, it is. But this is all the cherry here and uh, turned out really nice. And then, what do you got there, Mark? Well, this is a end cut that you had painted and you were saying that, that it keeps it from checkering or splitting yep. on the ends. Yeah, no and checking with that anchor seal. So It did work, it did exactly what you said it was gonna it kept do. Kept it in a log. So the other test we'll do is on these boards, we'll see how long that the anchor seal protects them now that they're in the boards and they're gonna dry more aggressively now. And it didn't penetrate like inches, it's it's barely. Yeah, it's enough you can clean up with just a saw cut. Correct. Nice job. And I got, really well. I got one, oh my, look at this. Beautiful board. That is beautiful, you, you know what? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to. No, what are I'm you going do? to. I'm going to do it. What are you going to do, Nathan? Out of the woods. This Mark. one's for you, buddy. Are you sure you want to do that? Uh, oh. <laughs> and there it is. But Nathan, don't put ice on his. Yeah. Water. Look at for, that. Water's for drinking. Yeah, water's for drinking. Silly rabbit. Be yeah. thirsty the rest of the day. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful though? So there, there you go. Um, we don't normally do this at Bus Motor Productions, but this cherry, there was some really nice, uh, you got you got the bird's eye even going on there. Uh, that, that'll, that'll just look like it's coming out of that board when it's finished, but uh, all right, Mark, you can do the exit this time. So uh, you wanna get over here with us and we'll oh. everybody say goodbye. There you go. Yeah, there wow. we We're changing it up here. I'm sure I can do that. <laughs> all right, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. And uh, please like, please subscribe, and please share it with somebody. And hit the bell it. so you get the next video. There you go. And go to the merchandise store. Yes. Please. We Give appreciate nice it. nice hat. Yes, the nice hat, nice shirt. Hat. And... All right, everybody. Take care. Thank you again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.